Constantine Herring, a famous homeopath and contemporary of Samuel Hahnemann, spent many years in the jungles of Suriname to prepare and test homeopathic medicines. His name is inextricably linked with snakes, which he introduced into homeopathic use. Now we are following his tracks and are approaching an area which is not far from Herring's working place. This is the same region which was explored by Alexander von Humboldt approximately 200 years ago. We want to collect medicines in the Casaquari, the source region of the Rio Negro and the Orinoco. The jungle is the epitome of vastness and adventure. Still today, it holds many secrets for science. Unknown species of animals and plants, Yet homeopathy has discovered its values nearly 200 years earlier and made available to patients in the form of homeopathic remedies. Here in the endless expanse of the Venezuelan Brazilian rainforest, it is often very difficult to find one's way as the water flows practically in every direction. There are often obstacles in your way which can only be removed with the greatest of effort. Because of plant decomposition, the water here has the dark golden color of tea. On the way to our destination, we meet several interesting animals. This water snake gave me a good scare since it strongly resembles the true very poisonous Mercurius corallinus snake. We are now in the area of the Yanomamas, the largest Indian tribe in the Amazon region. In the past, they were thought to be warriors and for a long time feared by white men. Today, it is possible to get in peaceful contact with them. We finally meet the first Yanomamas. For us, this is an encounter of a very special kind. They meet us on very friendly terms and are in no way reserved or aggressive. Their tribes either live exclusively in the rainforest or near the rivers in a well-circumscribed territory in which all their activities are centered, the Shibono. Every two to three years, they change their place of living and go somewhere else. Over the course of 15 years, they eventually return to the original Shibono. They hunt game with karari arrows, catch fish with spears, and farm the land with a simple manner. Despite the abundance of different plants, they do not use them for medicinal purposes. Their healers use shamanism. They burn their deceased near the shibono and eat their ashes mixed with bananas. This is meant to keep the soul and power of the life of the dead with the relatives and the community.